Factorize for four marks. Okay. So whenever you've got the situation where you've got two of the same bracket, take that bracket out as a common factor. So that would be 2x minus y, which you take out as a common factor. Then what would you be left with? So you can imagine that that's been taken away. So now you're just left with a2 minus b2. Now that's not going to get you four marks. So what you do now is you look carefully. Can you do anything more with the bracket. Can you take out a common factor? No. Is it a trinomial? No. Can you do difference of squares? No. Okay. So, and there's no grouping, there's no cubics, nothing there. So let's look at this one. Can you take out a common factor? No. Can you do difference of squares? Ooh, maybe. The way to do difference of squares is you need to have two terms. Ah, that's good. So you need two terms. Whoopsie. So yes, they need to be separated with a negative. Yes. Each one must be a perfect square. Kevin, what is a perfect square? Well, here's a square. And if it's a perfect square, then this side and this side must be the same. If you then work out the area, what is A times A? A squared. What about a square that had B and B? Oh, B times B would be B squared. So these are called perfect squares. The number 25 is also a perfect square. Why? 5 times 5 is 25. Is the number 20 a perfect square? Nope. Because there's no number that you can put here, no number that you can put here, that's the same number that will give you 20. Yeah, but Kevin, what about 5 and 4, my bro? Yeah, but I said it has to be the same number. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You see. <laughs> so, there we go. So, this is a perfect square. Uh, so, we make two brackets, and we'll say A minus B, and then A plus B. Remember, you always take the square of that one, the square root, the square root of that one. That's where I got the A, and I got the B. And then you make two brackets, and one of them's a minus, one of them's a plus. And there we have it.